Hi everyone, I'm here with my friend Sharon and I was showing her uh, over the last two years we've had uh, a lot of rain in May, uh, uh, extraordinary amount of rain and, and that has continued. This year we've had one heavy shower that was four and a half inches of rain and we've had some frequent rain last night. So we get these heavy thunderstorms and in this part of the bed I lost a lot of plants. The water came down the path and went through here and drifted into the center of the garden and kind of lingered there. So I, uh, the Stakey's Umalo has done super. Do I fish now this Umalo? And what I had uh, had in there earlier, um, I can't really see it. I replanted some liatris. The liatris lived and then I had uh, salvias. I had groups of salvias there and they were doing well for a number of years but they just couldn't take the spring flooding. And I had the latrus coming through them after the salvias flowered and were reblooming. So they declined and I took them out and in the center I incorporated Lithrum elatum. It's our native Lithrum. Now you can see it comes up late. It's only about two inches tall. So when the weather warms up, and to be fair to the Lithrum, it was only two weeks ago we were 27 degrees. And for four to five nights in a row, we were in the low to mid 30s. So it really hasn't been a warm spring but the lithrum still are slow to come up and, and they come up warm weather. And I interplanted those with the white liatris. Mm -hmm. So I think that'll be a nice combination of lithrum elatum, our native lithrum with uh, liatris spicata alba, white liatris drifting through there. The stakies are tremendous. Then a friend of mine, a grower, Brent Horvath at Intrinsic, told me about uh, Ranunculus acris, A-C-R-I-S. So it's a simple species. So I drifted those in here with, you can see the height going along the path. They're very nice, very attractive. I think they slowly spread. They're not an aggressive ranunculus. And eventually I have some small liners. I'm gonna mingle them in across the path on this side and they can go into light shade. And I don't know, Sharon, do you have any questions about the? Well, what uh, kind of flowers does the plant behind the yellow well, the have? The Stakey's Umalo will have spiked rosy pink flowers okay. around early July and the ranunculus will be done flowering. It's going to last until about the second week in June, but you'll have the little seed heads dangling in front of them, and then the spikes will come up through here, and in, in, in between that are remnants of geranium sanguinium that had planted, I had planted, and they drifted in between the stakies. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I didn't plan that. But that's what happened, and I tell, I'll tell say, yeah, I did that. That was me. Okay. <laughs> but it wasn't planned at all. And should you cut these back at all, or you just no, let you just, it just you leave, can leave them? And the seed heads will kind of mature nicely. And then when we when I cut them back, when they start to look unattractive, they'll start to fall over and break. Uh -huh. And then I'll start pruning them back into the foliage. And would you prune back just the stalk, or all the way down? No, I cut the... it down into the foliage. Okay. So the stalk will break off and get weak, and then I just cut it off into the. And you have just a a nice mound of low green. Uh -huh. And and so I got basically that drifted Pretty, through here. Yeah. And I think the lithrum elatum has, is a forgiving nature to average to moist soil. So I think I'm in good shape in the future with our future spring rainfalls. I think are gonna be at a little higher level than we're used to. So I hope this has helped and I'm grateful for Sharon's well, thank questions. You. Yes, thank you. And we'll see you next time.